when I when I started rapping, I started writing raps. I would I would live with my mom. So when my mom when my mom's my mom's husband, which is my little brother's father, he would cut my hair. He know how to cut hair and shit. So like he cut my hair every Sunday right before school. And one one time he was just cutting my hair while music was playing, but he was rapping over the songs. And he was rapping over the shits like as if like he was battling me. But the nigga was high. So you for me, he used to smoke weed and shit like that crazy. <laughs> he from Foster. He, he from Foster, but the nigga from but you know, his his roots is like from St. Thomas, so heavy on the weed, you know what I'm saying? So he he was high rapping like he battling me. So one day I just wrote in the back of my notebook, I wrote like a little response for the next time he cut my hair. So when he cut my hair and the next time he, he said he said a rap again. I was like, I was hoping that he did it too. Like, so he did it. I didn't have to tell. And I and once he like finished, because usually every time he rap, every time he finished the rap, he'll walk off. You know what I mean? So when he did once he was about to walk off, I said my rap. And he turned around. And then my mom's was in the kitchen while while it's while it's happening. So when I said it, she turned around, looked at me too. And every, so when I finished the rap, it was hype. So I just kept doing it. I kept writing the raps for when he would cut my hair. And then after a while, it just became like a hobby to me to write my raps. And like, one, but I would write them from the back of my notebook. Once I realized the back of my notebook was full and it was taking over like my, the front of my notebook where all my schoolwork was at, I'm like, I got to buy a whole number book for this right here. So my mom's bought me another notebook. She the one who told me about, like, yo, you got to have 16 bars, you know what I'm saying, in order to have a verse and stuff like that. So your mom's taught you yeah. how to break down 16 bars? Facts. Word, like, word to everything. Like, she taught, she taught me that. She, I, never, I didn't know. I'm looking at them. I'm looking at the rap. I knew rap was, was, was as far as, like, the breakdown is concerned, was similar to poetry. So when I, when I first... I would either call them lines instead of bars. I would call them lines or stanzas. You know, in poetry, it's like it's a, each stanza is like a mm -hmm. line. So I would call it that. My mom was like, yo, 16 bars in a verse. So your first verse got to have 16 bars. Every bar is a line. So I'm like, okay. So when I would write it in my notebook, I would write bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four, and the whole two pages within the first page and the back of the page would be the eight bars on the one page and eight, the other eight on the second. If, depending on how much I'm writing this shit, because the, the 16 could lead up the whole page. So that's how I was doing it until like, until I was like maybe like 15, yeah, 15, 16, I had, I was, I had stopped rapping because I was, I started to like go outside and have fun and shit like that. And then the, like the life feed ever was starting to get popping. And I didn't want to have, I just didn't want to have fun to everybody else's music. I wanted to make my own. So my man from Brooklyn named Naeem, he was, he went to high school with me. He taught me how to make beats on the Fruity Loops. He he just gave me like the formula. He couldn't necessarily really teach me how to make beats, but how to make a beat. He just taught me, yo, this is a kick. This is a snare. This is a clap. Drums. You know what I mean? You can make, yeah, you feel me? And he's like, yo. I can't teach you how to actually make a beat because it goes with your style. You may have a whole nother style from anybody. So I took the whole summer off from then. Like he told me in the middle of school, like almost school's about to be over. Like, so I said like, mate, so that whole summer I stayed in the crib and made beats. 